Meet Pluto. Once a distant mystery, Pluto became a familiar sight when NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew by in July 2015, providing our first detailed look at this icy world. The mission unveiled stunning images of Pluto's landscape, showcasing frozen nitrogen cliffs, massive shards drifting across icy plains like icebergs, deep chasms surpassing the Grand Canyon, and the iconic heart-shaped region. Despite these high-definition images, much of Pluto remains enigmatic. The far side of Pluto, the hemisphere opposite the one we know so well, still holds many secrets. What could this hidden side reveal? Before we continue, if you enjoy my videos, be sure to subscribe for more exciting content. When Clyde Tombaugh discovered Pluto over 94 years ago, it appeared as a faint dot, barely detectable by the largest telescopes of the era. It wasn't until 1996, with the help of the Hubble Space Telescope, that scientists could discern surface details of Pluto. Although those early images were blurry, they hinted at a planet with greater large-scale contrast than any other in the solar system, except for Earth. Then in 2015, after a journey of nine years and five months, new horizons arrived and revealed a world far more dynamic and complex than anyone had imagined. Unlike many other space missions, New Horizons did not orbit Pluto. This was due to budget limitations, time constraints, and the spacecraft's incredible speed of over 84,000 kilometers per hour, 52,000 miles per hour, upon arrival. Instead, New Horizons executed a flyby, with its closest approach to Pluto lasting just a few hours. As a result, we only captured detailed images of one hemisphere of Pluto. This is because Pluto rotates every 6.4 Earth days, so during the flyby, one side was lit by the sun, while the other side remained in darkness. This remarkable image was taken when New Horizons looked back at Pluto after its closest approach. Using images captured during its approach from as far as 6 million kilometers away, scientists pieced together views of Pluto's far side. What other spectacular features might this strange world be hiding? Despite the great distance, the images of Pluto's far side taken by New Horizons have a resolution 100 times better than what the Hubble Space Telescope could achieve, allowing us to identify some of its significant features. In several aspects, the two sides of Pluto are quite similar. For instance, both hemispheres feature steep ridges called blades, which rise up to a kilometer like tall skyscrapers above the surface. Scientists suggest that these peculiar bladed terrains form similarly to penitentes on Earth which are features created when snow or ice sublimates, turning directly from a solid to a gas without becoming liquid. However, Earth's penitentes are much smaller, reaching only about five meters, 16 feet in height. One of the most fascinating discoveries on Pluto's far side, which isn't seen on its near side, are long, thick, dark lines that intersect each other. These lines are situated directly opposite Pluto's heart-shaped region, hinting at a possible link to the heart's origin. The western lobe of Pluto's heart, known as Sputnik Planitia, is believed to be the result of a massive impact event. A prominent theory suggests that an object over 643 kilometers, 400 miles, wide crashed into Pluto, creating a huge basin. Over time, this basin likely filled with slushy water as an underground ocean began to seep into the chasm. Following the collision, nitrogen gas in Pluto's atmosphere condensed and froze over the cold basin forming the bright white mark seen during the New Horizons flyby. The presence of these dark lines on Pluto's far side supports the theory of a massive impact event. They likely formed from seismic waves generated by the collision, which traveled around the planet and created a jumbled terrain of ridges, cracks, and planes on the opposite side. These shock waves essentially circled Pluto and converged at the far side, resulting in what is known as chaotic terrain. This phenomenon is not exclusive to Pluto. Similar patterns can be observed on other celestial bodies, such as Mars and Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, where asteroid or comet impacts have produced seismic scars on their surfaces. Adjacent to this chaotic terrain on Pluto, another remarkable feature can be seen. Enormous cracks and fault lines that extend from the North Pole to the South Pole. These extensive fractures are likely caused by the gradual freezing and expansion of an underground ocean. As this subsurface ocean slowly freezes, it expands, exerting pressure that eventually fractures Pluto's icy crust. Just as Pluto's heart reveals evidence of a hidden ocean, 
The extensive cracks on the dwarf planet suggest that even in the icy reaches of the Kuiper Belt, frozen worlds like Pluto might conceal subsurface oceans. This enhances the intriguing possibility of hidden environments that could potentially support life. The far side images also reveal that the striking dark regions observed on Pluto's illuminated side during New Horizons flyby are part of a continuous band encircling the entire planet, interrupted only by the heart-shaped feature. Known as Belton Regio, this dark band contrasts sharply with the surrounding icy regions and is believed to be composed of tholins, complex organic compounds formed through the interaction of ultraviolet light and cosmic rays with methane and nitrogen. Unfortunately, due to the limited clarity of these images, there's still much we don't know about Pluto's far side. While future, larger telescopes on Earth might provide more insight, nothing compares to the detailed close-up images captured by spacecraft. It's unlikely that another probe will visit Pluto in the foreseeable future, given the many other planets and moons in our solar system yet to be explored. For example, our last close-up views of Uranus and Neptune were obtained in the late 1980s. These blurry images are the best we currently have to complete Pluto's map, revealing that this icy world still hides numerous captivating secrets. As space agencies continue their explorations of the solar system, each new piece of data increases the likelihood of making groundbreaking discoveries. Meanwhile, back on Earth, different organizations are gathering data for very different reasons. I hope you enjoyed this video. Pluto is truly amazing, but the universe is full of other fascinating places. Best wishes, see you later.